Hello folks, I'm Colonel Failure and this is the first introduction to Transport Fever, the much anticipated follow-up to Train Fever. We had an inkling that it was coming and uh, the chaps at Urban Games have finally released some details about what's coming up. So before we go through it in depth, let's have a quick look at the trailer, that's what we all want to see. Okay, so let's have a quick look through and see exactly what it is that they've showed us here. Now, they've released plenty of details, and as you would expect, trains are going to play a pretty major part. But then, a quick flash, shipping and aircraft are also introduced to the game. Much as in the old uh, industry tycoon uh, fashion. So they start out by showing a few things that have been missing from Train Fever as we've played it so far. And if I pause just here, you'll see that, I mean, the first thing we get to see is the ability to cross track over pre-existing multi-line routes. Very useful. Uh, I mean, it was something you could work around in Train Fever, but the fact that they've added it into this game makes a big difference. The ability to cross track directly off a bridge to create a bridge spur is most welcome. Uh, I, the number of times I've tried to create bridges that branch off from one another is uh, numerous. But I think more telling here may be that we've seen the end of terrain alignment collision. So you may be able to, uh, to create a works of track that previously the game would have complained about. I keep my fingers crossed, but we'll just have to wait and see. To be honest, they would have had me at a, at a simple train fever too, but that's not what we're getting. So moving on, it's again showing off more of the, the new point systems in operation. Uh, before moving into this town scene, and the first thing that you see over on the left there is this whacking great train station. And I don't know if that suggests that uh, we'll see different train uh, station models uh, to choose from. I imagine the modding folk will cater for us there quite nicely. But when it comes down to it, uh, you know, the, they, sh they show in a second actually that these can be modular in nature. Uh, and of course, there we go, so we go, a bit, bit of modular station going on. And that's frankly brilliant. The, the ability to upgrade your station as you go, rather than having to try and forecast what it is that you're actually going to want, is kind of a big deal. It's something that uh, that is going to be very, very useful. And then we show off one of the new headline features for the game. Admittedly, only a brief glimpse at it here. And that is the uh, the addition of ports, uh, which obviously comes with shipping. Now, this one appears to be hooked directly up to a road, uh, indicating that it possibly works in the same way that a, uh, a kind of a, a refinery or a steel mill or something along those lines works, in that it's going to need a an immediate network connection to get any goods out of it. But I'd be interested to see how this would then interlink with rail if you wanted to drop goods off by rail. Or maybe it's an import only system. Time will tell. Uh, and then, you know, trams, obviously, going ahead with trams. And then again, they show off another feature that uh, uh, that is uh, a telltale from the, the first game in that they made it easy to place uh, an extra section of road here. 
something I've bumped into plenty. But the bigger telltale from this particular shot, look at the size of this town. Now, if this were the original Train Fever, uh, you would be hard pressed to reach a town of this size. And in the background there, I think you can possibly make out something that looks bigger still. So the prospect of having bigger towns is worse. It's it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, and then we get this sky view shot kind of montage going on here. And I'll pause just once more where we can see the airport and a couple of ports going on there and a whacking great station and uh, a heck of a lot of, uh, of, of just town. Uh, it's, you know, it's occupying quite a healthy amount of space. And the other thing to note, actually, the, uh, the right hand side of this particular shot, you can see what certainly looks like uh, a goods manufacturing facility. I wonder whether that means that you uh, you have some control over their placement now, because this certainly seems to be within town itself. Or has this town been grown to the extent that it's actually reached that uh, that goods facility? Mm, interesting. Uh, no, exciting though, most definitely. This is all new. Look at this for a quarry going on here. This is, I mean, just, I mean, look at it. I mean, the, the industrial, the good side of the game uh, has been tricky to get to grips with um, in the original Train Fever. And it certainly looks like they're, they're expanding on the idea. And again, they've taken this modular approach in terms of uh, your facilities building up over time. So, so additional buildings will place themselves as you get more proficient. And then we come to the teaser image, the uh, the star of the show, as far as the team are concerned at Urban Games. Uh, they've introduced aircraft to the game. Now, this, this is going to be interesting because presumably this either means external to your game map uh, kind of settings for, for shipping goods in and out, or some kind of limited transportation from one side of the map to the other, or even more possibly, maybe the map's just got huge. I'm excited to find out exactly which one they've opted for. Um, but to be honest, just the, the prospect of adding aircraft into your mix is pretty exciting stuff. Now, another area that they've focused on here is modifying and extending the game. So they've added some tools in by the looks of it that allow you to, uh, to play scenery as you go. Now, I'm... <laughs> I've, I've played, a, I've recorded 150 episodes of Train Fever so far, and I am looking forward to this in no uncertain terms. Weathering of vehicles as they get older. Uh, you know, I previously made a, an apocalypse train or two, and uh, you know, I don't, I've always had aspirations to make that run even longer still. But it looks like they've beaten me to the punch and, uh, and added weathered vehicles in there. So I'm pretty excited about what's to come, and, uh, and I'll keep you updated as more details are released. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today. This brief overview of what we've seen of Transport Fever so far. There are more details available on the Transport Fever website, but I think we've covered off most of the big stuff so far. Meanwhile, if you've got a you know an observation you'd like to make on what they've shown us to date, uh, please chuck it in the comments so we can all get stuck in on debating what could possibly be coming. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to stay up to date on all the news they release and, well, more train fever goodness besides. And chuck a like down on this one if you'd be so kind. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.